The year 2020 commemorates the 100th anniversary of women's right to vote across the United States. The Frick is celebrating with a series of videos honoring stories of women at the museum who made, appeared in, collected, and took care of art in this collection. August 18, 1920 was the day of ratification, the official signing of, making valid of, the 19th Amendment. It was a victory for the many women and men who worked to win women's right to vote, but it was not the end of the story. After this landmark moment, many women, especially women of color, had to fight on. In this episode, we focused on a woman whose leadership over many decades shaped the Frick Collection. When people think of the history of the Frick Collection, they usually think of its founder, Henry Clay Frick. But perhaps the second most important person in the history of the museum was his and his wife Adelaide's daughter, Helen Clay Frick. She's remembered as the daughter of one of the wealthiest industrialists and art collectors in the history of the United States. But what's her story? Born in 1888, Helen was very close to her father and was side by side with him as he built his collection. After his death in 1919, she was intimately involved with the development of the Frick Collection as we know it today, serving for some time as the only woman on its otherwise male board of trustees. She wrote the first catalog of the Frick's collection. It's thanks to Helen, for example, that the Frick has one of the most significant holdings of early Italian Renaissance paintings in the United States. And it was under her leadership that such beloved works as Ang's portrait of the Comtesse de Sonville came into the collection. Helen, pictured here with one of the family's dogs, Fudgy, also founded the Frick Art Reference Library in 1920 in her father's memory, and she served as its director for about 50 years, until the year before her death in 1984. First housed in the family's bowling alley in the basement of the Frick Mansion, the library quickly grew to become one of the premier art reference libraries in the world. Here is Helen, depicted by the American artist Melvina Hoffman, a portrait inspired by one of her father's sculptures by the 18th century French sculptor Houdon. But Helen's contributions went far beyond the Frick Collection in New York. She also founded, in 1970, the Frick Art Museum in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, at the Frick family's home there, now part of an exciting campus of buildings and gardens called the Frick Pittsburgh. And during the First World War, Helen traveled to Europe with the Red Cross, working especially with women and children refugees. Just as she contributed to a number of women's causes here in the United States, particularly in support of women working in the labor force. So when you enjoy the works of art in the Frick's collection, I hope you'll also think of Helen Clay Frick, who worked for many years behind the scenes for the benefit of the museum and so much more. <laughs>